I recently uh, read a, an article, and I think it was the New York New York Times. Could be could be wrong. And it was also uh, the story was also confirmed in a bunch of blogs that I saw online. And it had to do with a, uh, I'm not sure if it was a section or a full platoon, probably just a section, of US Marines that were on patrol in Afghanistan. And they were pinned down from, uh, from quite a range by a large bore centerfire rifle, 30 caliber or more. And um, they were getting hits. This guy was 500 meters, 600 meters away from the section. And they're getting hits on uh, on this uh, on these Marines. They thought it was a sniper, and they uh, went to ground, tried to t got some cover. Thankfully, uh, the Marines that were hit were hit lightly, um, non-critical, non-fatal wounds. However, uh, what they found later on was that it was um, two, maybe three, Taliban armed with, with Lee Enfields, and it dismayed them. How was this possible that a guy with an old, 70-year-old old Lee Enfield uh, could pin down an entire section from that distance? So can Lee Enfield shoot, or is it just the shooter? So I wanted to put this to the test, so I just put some uh, targets down range, 100 meters, did my very, very best to hit it. All the exercises that I've gone in through here today were, were performed uh, uh, without a rest. They're in the, in the prone, unsupported position. And uh, I think pretty much what, what we're going to see out of these rifles is about three inches. That's what I've been able to do in the past. Uh, however, I'm going to work my darndest to try to see if I can't narrow that down. Okay, so here's our target, and um, uh, there's a total of 10 rounds inside this patch, which is approximately two and a half inches across. Um, again, prone, unsupported, and you know, if we start thinking about it, um, these Taliban chaps that, were, that had this uh, American section of Marines uh, pinned down at between five and 600 meters away, uh, was using Mark VII World War II ammunition, and this is the old stuff. This is the cordite ammunition. But I got to tell you, some of the old Dominion Arsenal or the old uh, Mark VII uh, 303 ammunition that I have shot, uh, shot exceedingly well. Uh, and that's a flat based 174 grain bullet. Moving at uh, 2,443 feet per second. I'm shooting the Mark VIII, 175 at just over 2,300 feet per second. Which you will see that the 303 starts to really shine between 5 and 600 meters. It really starts to shine. This here isn't really indicative of the accuracy that you can get, achieve out of a 303 between 5 and 600 meters. It's got to do with the quality of your ammunition. I'll get into that at a later time. 
However, there's a, there's a magic formula at foot here when it comes to 303 at those distances. So what it really comes down to for me, this Taliban marksman really knew what he was doing. He knew how his 303 worked. He knew how to make it shine. He knew how his sights, he knew, he knew how to set his sights properly. Um, and he walked the bullets in to the target. And he did very well for himself. At the uh, unfortunate situation of this U.S. Marines. Okay, folks, this is Rifle Chair signing off. Uh, a real believer in the 303. And I think many of you are too. Cheerio!